So all these pieces have quite a square chamber in them. There's uh, quite a bit of a big baffle uh, that's going on there. Let me close this door so I don't disturb the rest of the shop. So this is the eight. So this is going to be a wider lay. I'll get the exact tip openings for you uh, later on. I don't have them to hand just now. Let's just see what this one can do. Again, blowing, blowing it as sort of loud as possible. Let's give it a, a kind of um, pop solo kind of idea. I'm certainly not even, I'm not punching it all the way through. Um, but you can tell there, just straight on the nail, straight there. So if I was doing a sort of pop, rock gig, soul bang kind of gig, this mouthpiece would be a, a, a superb choice because it's just gonna cut through the rest of the ensemble. Those high notes just sing out. I don't have to, I've gotta be honest, sometimes with my link, I have to kind of, you know, there are times where I'm going for it and it doesn't want to sound, it kind of closes in on me. Whereas this thing, I just feel that every time I wanted to go for those top notes, I just know they're going to be there. I don't play much soul band stuff anymore. I used to play a lot of it years ago. And you know, you've got to hit those solos straight out of the box. You know, you can be playing, you know, to kind of like massive concert halls full of pe thousands of people. You don't want to split a note at that exact moment. So I feel that you know you'd have the confidence with this Yanagasawa. Uh, let's just try something again. Let's play a nice soft ballad. Played sentimental mood last time. Let's do body and soul this time. So not as easy to control as the 7 was, but certainly it's there. And let's give it one kind of final little, last little test. Let's see what's happening with the intonation on this one. So I'm going to hit top, you know, concert 440, uh, top B on the tenor, concert A. That was pretty much in tune. My armature was a bit out though. hair on the sharp side. Yeah, I mean, the low beads are not gonna creep out. I, again, remember there's very much a personal thing going on here. For me, wide line mouthpieces are great for punching through, especially high notes. You don't tend to play too subtly on a big wide line mouthpiece. I don't anyway. Um, again, that just might be the way I am. I prefer six sevens for doing that. And speaking of which, let's give uh, the Yanagasawa 6 tenor mouthpiece one little try. <laughs> 